What's up, Sneaky Nation? Sneaky P here, back with the divisional round of the playoffs here in year number four of our Columbus Aviators franchise with the Aviators getting ready to take on the Cleveland Browns. The Browns have finally found their franchise quarterback in Jeffrey Ewing, and they have one of the better defenses in the NFL. However, they are going to have their work cut out for them going up against this Columbus Aviators offense. They are stacked across the board, ending the year 12-4 and and securing the number one seed in the AFC. The Browns are looking to change things around today, but they are going to have their work cut out for them again, being on the road. A lot of things stacked against this Browns team, but they are hoping that they can finally take the next step with this franchise. They've been building it for a few years now, and the pieces are finally coming together. The Aviators looking to avoid any kind of injury to Marcus Mariota. It has plagued us in playoffs past, looking to stay healthy this year. We have Bakari Boswell and Sean Sutton back to receive the kick. And Jeffrey Ewing, the second-year pro, leading the way for the Browns. 89 overall, 23 years old. A bright future Logan Thomas backing him up. Damian Williams and Charles Sims. Marcel Reese going to be the fullback at wide receiver. Kenny Stills, Michael Crabtree, Jabriel Albury, KC Blake, Dent, and uh, Ebron's going to be at the tight end spot for him. And look at this offensive line. They are absolutely stacked, trying to give some uh, holes for Damian Williams to work with. And then their defensive line as well, very, very good. They have players across both lines here, and they could easily control the game with that. Not a great left outside linebacker, but they have a solid middle linebacker and right outside linebacker. Joe Hayden, one of the best cornerbacks in the NFL, looking to shut down Doriel Green Beckham today. That is going to be an interesting matchup. They also have Gibson over top at free safety and that might make it a little bit more difficult to blow the top off the defense with Harden or Sean Sutton it's going to be an interesting matchup guys let's go ahead and kick things off and this is Sean Sutton fielding this on about the eight yard line up past the 20 to 25 he is going to get taken down at the 32 yard line a pretty good return there and good starting field position here for the Columbus Aviators as Marcus Mariota comes out onto the field again he has been down with an injury the last two playoff games we need him healthy if we would like to make a run this year, and he is going to look to do just that with this offense. Starting things off with a handoff to Bishop Sankey. That's good for about a yard game. Second and nine. Mariota on the right side. Doriel Green Beckham comes down with it, and that is a first down, a gain of 11 yards. Play action. Mariota on the left side of the field looking for Sean Sutton. Great coverage by the Browns. Second and 10 here. Pressure on its way. Mariota barely getting the ball out of his hands there. Third and 10. Another play action. Pressure on its way. Mariota takes a hit, but he finds Curtis Harden down the field. A 55-yard touchdown in the Aviators. Strike first early in this game. A breakdown in the coverage for the Browns there. Marcus Mariota staying in the pocket, taking a big hit there. Look at that, and then just nobody covering Curtis Harden on the play. Great awareness from Marcus Mariota to find him. And the Aviators will go on top 7-0 against the Cleveland Browns. That'll bring out Jeffrey Ewing, the second-year pro for the Browns here. And on the season, 19 touchdowns, 10 interceptions. Not as many touchdowns as they would like. He's not really turning the ball over a whole lot for the Browns, though. And when they have a defense as good as they do, that definitely helps them out. Two-yard gain on the run there by Williams. Another handoff to Williams. Nowhere for him to go there. It is going to be third and 12 for Ewing on the left side. Bradley Roby is going to get the interception for the Aviators. And that is a huge mistake from Ewing. And that will set the Aviators up with great field position once again in an opportunity to make this a two possession game Bradley Roby a great free agent acquisition in the offseason making his impact known early on in the playoffs here for the Aviators first and 10 here is Sankey going up the middle runs into the pile but he breaks free the 10 5 touchdown for the Columbus Aviators they have gone on top 14 to nothing a 35 yard touchdown run immediately following the interception by Roby it looked like he was going to get caught up in this pile and just nobody makes the tackle on him he will break free and that is a huge play for the Aviators the Browns are still 
asleep in this game. What is going on? Jeffrey Ewing going to try to run with the ball here. He fumbles it. McKnight forces the fumble, and Ramorius Culliver has recovered into the end zone for the third time today. What is going on with the Cleveland Browns in a span of three minutes? They have gotten three touchdowns against them. Unbelievable. The Browns just sleeping. Jeffrey Ewing, you know, he's a young quarterback and maybe not up for this test quite yet. The Aviators defense really coming out trying to prove a point early on, setting their offense up uh, with short field on one possession and getting a touchdown on another. 21 to nothing is the score, and now Ewing is going down on a sack. Second and 15, Kenny Stills with the reception for about 11 yards there. Third and four, Williams out of the backfield with the reception to the 34-yard line. First and 10, here's a handoff to Williams again right up the middle this time. That is good for about a five-yard gain there. Second and five, another handoff this time to Sims. He is going to get taken down immediately. Third and five, Jeffrey Ewing over the middle, and Ebron holds onto the ball to the 47-yard line there. Three and Four for Ewing, but that one really came back to haunt him. That one in completion as Williams runs for a yard. Second and nine. Nowhere to go for Williams again. It's going to be third and five now. Ewing needs to make a play down the right side. And Blake has the catch. He will take it to the 24-yard line. A 24-yard play there for the Cleveland Browns. And they are starting to march down the field. But Tyrone Stevens is down with an injury. He will be okay as McRoy gets into the backfield for a stop there. A four-yard loss. It'll be second and 14 for the Browns. Here is Damian Williams going up the middle. Almost breaking free like Sankey did earlier. Third and six. Ewing on the left side. Ebron into the end zone. Touchdown for the Cleveland Browns. And they have gotten on the board. Ewing really starting this game off slow. An interception and a fumble. But he really came out and made a statement with that drive there. The Browns are not out of this game yet. Anything can happen in the NFL. And we've seen our defense break down enough that we know teams can put up points fast. So our offense is going to have to answer here. And that is an incompletion by Marcus Mariota. Second and 10 in the pocket over the middle. Curtis Harden unable to hold on to the ball there. Third and 10 for the Aviators over the middle. That is getting swatted down. And that is a quick three and out. Uh, Mariota starting the game off 2-7 and seven as Williams once again not able to get anything going. Even though they have a great offensive line, Ewing wise enough to slide down this time, not fumbling the ball. And that is a huge gain up to midfield there. First and 10, Ewing over the left side finding Michael Crabtree this time. He will take it to the 43-yard line, a 7-yard pickup. Second and 3 on the right side, wide open is Jabriel Albury. He will go out of bounds at the 32-yard line, first and 10. Here is Kenny Stills this time, and the Browns are marching down the field. That is great poise by Ewing, rebounding from his early mistakes, trying to lead the Browns back into this game, but he is getting sacked there. Rafael Reyes, the rookie defensive end, going to make the play. It'll be third and 20 for the Browns here. Ewing going down, and that is almost intercepted by Bradley Roby once again, making a play on the ball. He couldn't hold on to it. But it will limit the Browns to a field goal, and that is good enough. It is still a two-possession game. 21-10 to 10 is going to be the score. The first quarter winding down here, and this has been a high-scoring quarter, mostly coming from that first three minutes. And now it's up to the Aviators' offense to respond, you know. The Browns have scored 10 straight unanswered points here. And we got to get down the field quickly as you see a 10-yard run by Bishop Sakey there. First and 10 on the left side. Doyle Green, Beckham breaks a tackle. And he has a first down. Pushed out of bounds at the 47-yard line of Browns territory. That's good for a 13-yard gain. Play action. Mariota on the right side. Finding Chance Jokel down to the 33-yard line. About a 14-yard pickup there. First and 10 over the middle. Here is Doyle Green, Beckham again. In his third catch of the day, and that is going to be good for about nine yards. Second and one over the middle. Bakari Boswell into the end zone for the rookie out of East Carolina. Touchdown for the Columbus Aviators. 28 to 10 is going to be the score. Just when it looked like the Browns have some sign of hope, Bakari Boswell and Marcus Mayo are going to slam the door shut. 
And it is a long game. The Browns still have plenty of opportunities, but it's definitely nice to kind of see the uh, offense of the Aviators start getting down the field there. This is going to be Williams on the left side. He will pick up about three there, second and seven. Play action, Ewing, and the pocket pressure coming, going deep, and that is almost intercepted by Ramorius Culver. Third and seven, pressure coming on Ewing again. He throws the ball and finds Ebron beating Dre Kirkpatrick to the 41-yard line. Here is Ewing again on the left side overthrowing Williams on the play second and 10 Ewing on the right side and that is going to be Blake with the catch he will go down at the 49 yard line two yards shy third and two Michael Crabtree in traffic going against Bradley Roby making the catch there that is a first down for the Browns and once again their offense is on the move here's Damian Williams on the outside, that's good for about six, second and four. On the left side, Kenny Stills with the catch this time. Another Cleveland Brown first down, picking up eight there. First and ten, here's Albury. And that's a big hit from Roby. He will be down at the 11-yard line. Damian Williams, nowhere to go. Wrapped up. He is struggling early on. Second and nine. Ebron unable to hold on to the ball. Culver with good coverage there. Third and nine to the end zone. Albury has a touchdown for the Browns. The young wide receiver beating the young linebacker Malik Hale for the Aviators. Malik Hale was actually in position to swat that one away. Unfortunately, he just did not have enough awareness to know where the ball was. And Albury and the Browns are going to make him pay for it 28 to 17 is the score like I said this is a long game and right now the Browns have actually been looking better over these past three drives outscoring us 17 to 7 Curtis Harden on the left side that's going to be good for six yards second and four Sankey up the middle he will pick up about two there third and two over on the right side Sankey has a catch but not a good throw from Mariota. Sankey could not catch it in motion there. Kind of came to a stop. And that's a quick three and out after a decent return. Williams up the middle. He will pick up two second and eight. This is going to be a false start penalty though. It will come back making it third or second and uh, 13 here from the 45 yard line. Play action Ewing rolling out of the pocket a little bit. And he is going to throw a Hail Mary. It's not going to work. Roby is going to get his second interception of the day. And that is just a mistake from a young quarterback. I say Hail Mary. It wasn't a Hail Mary play. But he kind of threw the ball while running. Clearly didn't have any idea of where that ball was going to go. Roby was the only person there. No Browns receiver was anywhere near that. And that is his second interception of the day for the first year. Aviator, second and five. Sankey up the middle. That is good for an Aviator first down. First and ten on the left side. Curtis Harden going to fumble the ball now. And Harris recovers for the Browns. That is not a mistake. You see Curtis Harden make often. But in a big game like this, that could really come back to haunt us. Reminder, this is only an 11-point game right now. One more touchdown. And the Browns are right back in this. And that fumble definitely going to hurt the Aviators as the Browns also have good starting field position here. Going to be interesting to see how they respond from that last interception they threw as Williams once again goes down 25 yards on 13 carries. He cannot get anything going against this Aviators defense. Third and eight, Ewing in the pocket needs a big time play here on the left side. Wide open is Albury again. He had that last touchdown and he will take the ball down to the 23 yard line there. 200 yards passing for Ewing now on his way to a 400 yard game if he keeps it up the rookie dent with the catch this time he will take it down to the four yard line and it'll be first and goal for the Cleveland Browns Ewing on the right side Albury has a catch down to the two yard line it'll be second and goal with a minute and a half to go before halftime but this is coming back a false start penalty on the Browns really coming back to haunt him you cannot do that on the two yard line second and goal from the seven Ewing going to roll out this time and throw the ball away wisely it'll be third and goal Ewing to the end zone almost intercepted by Roby again he already has two interceptions and two deflections a monster game from him and uh, that is just a mistake waiting to haunt them that uh, false start penalty that being said, they do get a field goal here, and it is back to a one-possession game. 28-20, to 20. if the Browns get a touchdown and a two-point conversion, they will be right back in this game as Sankey goes up the middle this time to the 33-yard line, second and inches. 
Play action. Mariota looking down the field. He'll roll outside the pocket and throw this ball away. Third and inches here for the Aviators. They are going to run for it, and Mariota has the first down, scrambling to the 37-yard line. First and 10 as the Aviators use their first time out. Chapman unable to hold on to the ball there. Second and 10 over the middle. Curtis Harden with the reception. He will take it up to the 47-yard line. A 10-yard pickup. Third and one. Nowhere for Sankey to go. 30 seconds here, guys. And the Aviators will punt the ball away to the Browns. Now, remember, the Browns are going to be getting the ball back first in the second half. They are going to have an opportunity to tie this ball game up. And uh, what started off as a very hot start for the Aviators has kind of softened a little bit. The Browns have scored 20 of the last 27 points in the game. They have all of the momentum right now. They're getting the ball back in the second half. This is still anyone's game. And the Aviators are definitely going to have to pick up their intensity in the second half. We are back in the second half. The Browns are going to start off with the ball here as Williams runs for about four yards there. They're trying to tie this ball game up. Almost intercepted there. That was Roby again in coverage. Third and six. Eric Ebron has a first down for the Browns to the 37-yard line. An 11-yard gain. Here's Williams on the outside this time. He will take it across the 40-yard line to the 42 for a gain of five. Second and five now, but this one is coming back. Another false start penalty. Second and ten. Sims up the middle this time. He is going to gain five yards back third and five and yet another penalty what is going on this time it's going to be against the aviators though so third and inches and Williams will have the first down to the 45 yard line first and 10 here's Williams on the outside this time he will take it down to about the 40 yard line for a four yard pickup second and six Sims has nowhere to go there going to be third down and seven for Jeffrey Ewing and the Browns and he is going down that is Derek Morgan in on the sack the sack master for this aviators defense making a play there and that is the third sack of the day for the aviators the game glitching saying it was the browns though first and 10 on the left side this is wayne chapman staying in bounds with the seven yard pickup second and three now sankey has a first down to the 40 yard line first and 10 sankey again with the run he had that big run earlier outside that big run he hasn't done a whole lot but here he is with the reception Going down the field, Wayne Chapman delivers the block. The 15-10, five touchdown for the Columbus Aviators. A 57-yard play to Bishop Sankey. They tried blitzing the safeties, even the outside cornerback there, and it just did not pay off at all for the defense. Nobody was covering Sankey. They had Wayne Chapman down the field blocking for him on Moore right there, and that is a perfect way to get the game going again in the second half. The Aviators needed that. The Browns had all of the momentum right there, but a big-time play for the running back. We love utilizing our running backs out of the backfield in the receiving game, and Sankey is going to deliver there. A nine-yard run from Williams, second and one. Nowhere to go there. It's going to be third down and about two yards here. Ewing going to connect with Albury. He has had a pretty solid gain. He will pick up nine there, first and ten. On the outside, Ewing slides down after gaining about four yards there. Second and six, hand off the Sims. Not going to gain a whole lot. He will pick up two. Third and four, Ewing in the pocket. Going to find Albury once again. That is good for a first down across the uh, midfield to Aviators territory there. Pressure coming, and Ewing is going to evade it, diving down after picking up about nine yards there. It will be second and one handoff. Williams just continues to struggle. The Aviators linebackers have been all over him today. Third and one. Sims up the middle. Another Browns first down to the 23-yard line here. First and 10. Williams on the outside avoiding the tackle. He has a first down for the Browns to the 13. About a 10-yard gain. First and 10. But Dre Kirkpatrick is going to get the interception for the Aviators defense. A huge play there. The Browns were getting close to making this a one-possession game again. And Ewing for the third time today throwing an interception. The young quarterback really struggling with his uh, mistakes today. Three interceptions in that fumble. He's done a great job through the air of making plays happen, but when you're turning the ball over like that, it is going to come back to haunt you, and it is haunting the Browns right now as Sankey up the middle. A 15-yard carry and 12 carries, 102 yards on the day. He is really doing a great job of blowing this Browns defense up. Uh, he's had pretty much big runs or little runs. There hasn't been many mediocre runs, but he's making it work for him as Sankey up the middle does get a mediocre run this time. I say mediocre. He did pick up five yards. Second and five. 
Here's Tavon Austin, a three-yard gain. Third and two, Austin again has the first down for the Aviators to the 14-yard line. Mariota going to roll outside the pocket this time. Instead, he decides to run with it, and he will take it down to the two-yard line, a 12-yard pickup there. First and goal, Mariota rolling outside the pocket. Pressure coming. He will find Chance Jokel into the end zone. Touchdown for the Columbus Aviators, and they have put up 42 points on the board here today, over doubling the Browns score now 42 to 20 is going to be the score 11 minutes to go Crabtree trying to get this Browns offense going again they cannot afford another mistake as Ewing slides down after picking up six there second and four on the outside Albury again has the catch to about the 45 yard line good for a first down here Kenny Stills getting involved he will take it to the 49 yard line again a four second and six Ewing trying to scramble again not going to work Avery Williamson there to meet him and Ewing goes down with an injury here he will be back but for a few plays Logan Thomas is going to sub in and that is incomplete fourth and 12 they're going to go for it trying to get back into this game and Ebron holds on to the ball the tight end out of North Carolina with a 26 yard grab there what a play we're going to say 22 yard actually that's weird it did go for 26 first and 10 on the left side of the field thomas going to throw this one away second and 10 thomas over the middle finding blake this time he will take it to the 26 yard line third and five ewing is back into the game now pressure coming and he is going down that is Derek morgan his second sack of the day and it'll be fourth and 14 here for the browns ewing needs to make a big time play ewing delivered on fourth down not ewing i'm sorry thomas delivered on fourth down ewing trying to do the same and that is going to be incomplete dre kirkpatrick almost getting another interception there and the aviators will take over with a little over six minutes to go just trying to take this clock down now second and one we want to avoid the injuries at this point in time so we're going to play pretty conservative and uh, see if Sankey can get it done but overall we got to be impressed with the team today guys what a performance coming out of the gate scoring 21 points right off the bat if you take that first three minutes out of this game the score is actually 21 to 20 it would have been a very close game otherwise but our defense came out of the gate swinging and you know Ewing doesn't have a whole lot of uh, experience in big games like this he's still a very young quarterback and I think the pressure got to him today you know we kind of saw it get to some of our quarterbacks in previous playoff games who are also young and uh, this time it's going to haunt the Browns but Ewing is a good young quarterback I think he has a bright future he will find Williams here and the Browns are starting to march down the field it's a little bit too late now but they can still get some more points up on the board here as Stills goes out of bounds at the 32 yard line second and two Ewing a screen play to Sims this time going down the field and he is still on his feet taking it down to the 13 yard line first and 10 Ewing to the end zone that is Dent the rookie wide receiver touchdown for the Cleveland Browns and again if you take those first three minutes out of the game the Browns have actually scored more points here unbelievable uh, just those mistakes really coming back to haunt the young quarterback but he will get better in time and this Browns team is a team we are going to have to keep our eye on in the future as they can really start making a uh, impact on this league having a great young franchise quarterback like that and a defense as dominant as they are the onside kick is not going to work all that is left to do is kneel the clock out and the aviators will escape with a 42 to 26 victory over the cleveland browns we finally got a very good playoff win here and we will advance on to the conference championship game we're either going against the new england patriots or the denver broncos guys and it's going to be interesting to see how that actually plays out because you know it's a new era for those two teams tom brady and peyton manning are no longer in the picture they're both relying on different quarterbacks now and it's going to be interesting to see which team comes out on top. But the Aviators will have home field advantage for that game. We really needed a dominant playoff win. We've kind of struggled in the playoffs over the last few seasons. And coming out, having a dominant regular season, really putting some points up on the board here today. That's good for morale moving on to the next game. However, like I said, those two teams that we're playing next, very, very good teams. Um, a little, a few steps above this Browns team. And it's going to be a much tougher matchup for this team. A floating camera there. Uh, but 42 to 26 is the final score that first quarter really did the Browns in as well as those turnovers 
Um, they actually got more passing yards than we did, about 166 rushing yards. Our offensive line did a great job against the Browns defensive line, opening up holes. Sankey really hit them perfectly. And we are going to get the victory. Jeffrey Ewing, 92.8 quarterback rating, 31 of 42. Good for 73% completion. Three touchdowns. He threw three interceptions, though. But Marcus Mariota, four touchdowns, zero interceptions on the day. What a game from him. You know, he's battled inconsistency throughout this season. And to see him come out and have a game like that is brilliant. Damian Williams really struggled today. Only 2.9 yards of carry for him. Bishop Sankey, on the other hand, 7.7 .7 yards of carry. He had that 35-yard touchdown run that kind of came out of nowhere in the first quarter. Definitely did not look like he was going to make anything happen there. But uh, somehow broke away from the pile. Jeffrey Ewing did get 8.6 yards of play. The one for that first down or that fumble in the first, man, he would have had a great game running the ball. Look at Albury, the third year pro, uh, 86 yards on eight catches and a touchdown. A, a bright spot for this Browns offense to utilize moving forward. Curtis Harden got open early for that touchdown. Four catches on the day for him. Uh, Doyle Green Beckham had three early catches. That Bishop Sankey uh, touchdown was very nice as well. Chance Jokel getting involved. We haven't seen him a whole lot lately. Uh, and then, weirdly enough, Wayne Chapman, who has been great lately, did not have a good game here today. Tyler McElroy, 15 tackles. Gibson with 13, 10 for Malik Hale. Two sacks for Derek Morgan. One and a half for Williamson. Uh... One for Rafael Reyes, McElroy, and Hale getting involved as well. Bradley Roby, two interceptions. Dre Kirkpatrick with one. Uh, fumbles forced. Gibson with one. And Trenton McKnight with one, the second-year pro. Brandon Harris with the fumble recovery, as well as Remorius Culliver, the rookie out of Tennessee, returning it for a touchdown. He almost had an interception as well. Didn't work out there. But a great game from our defense in terms of forcing some turnovers. We definitely wanted to see that, and they delivered for sure. That is going to be it for this episode, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please smash that like button. It helps me out a lot. Give me some predictions. Who do you guys think we are going to play, the Broncos or the Patriots? I appreciate all of the support throughout this season, guys, and I will see you all next time. Later.